Okay, here's my little project. I'd like to get some electricity made. I'll figure this out somehow. So I took apart my bench grinder. Put a pulley on there, put a pulley in here. This is just for testing purposes. I'd like to figure out what I need, what has to be done to get this permanent magnet motor to power into my house. And I, I know you need a charge controller and battery banks and all that. I do have a solar panel hookup right there. So I'm not new to this. But I know that this is creating power right here. As you can see. I have power. When I do it this way, with my meter, it's reading about 29, 29 volts alternating current. So I don't know if that's good or bad or what that means, but it's showing 29. And I figured out why it's jumping on me because I've been touching the case on accident. But let me show you what this does. If I touch this one right here, I get 29, 29 volts. Touch this one right here. Right there, we get 29 volts. So there's two, two of these that hit 29. So I didn't know if maybe touching those two together would make more than that, or whoop, hops it. So I don't know what that is. It's like reversing it. I also have these two motors too, magnet motors. One of them has four wires. The other one has one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm guessing that this is a three phase. But I'm not sure. I don't know if this one would be better to use or the other one. Looks like it can put out uh, 0.14 kilowatts though, or 0.12 kilowatts at 50 or 60 hertz. So I do have a 220 volt hookup in my garage here. If I mean, if it needs to get going, this one says 0.09 kilowatts. But, I don't know. So if anybody has any ideas for me, I know that they do use these types of motors on windmills. And this is basically the same thing as a windmill. I would just be using something like this to power it. And I'd like to have, once the motor gets going, I'd like to have this thing hooked up so I could have the generator power this motor, which would be powering the generator. So I'd... I do realize I will need like a power plug like that to get it going, but once it gets going, I hope to have like a switch or something that I could switch it over just to run off the generator instead. So I've seen it before; they just didn't explain it. So if anybody can help me out, I—I I mean, I'd probably be willing to even give you one of those guys or something. So let me know, guys. Thanks. This right here is a Fanuc permanent magnet motor. I don't need the encoder on the back half of it. I'm guessing I just need these four plugs right here. So if anybody knows anything about these, please chime in and help me out. Because I have all of these guys right here that could be power and stuff. So. This is what the inside looks like of one. Those are big magnets. That's a big coil. Let me see. No, these are the magnets right there. These are all magnets. And they're wrapped 
the casing it has the coil around it so that's how they get the power